place, crazy, excited, taking a lot of vitamin pills, drinking, overstimulated. <laughs> Auto arrests a whole lot. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Lions of Zion 19th anniversary presented by the Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. We have spent over, we have seen over 90 competitors get down to this top 16. I am your host for tonight. My name is Marley from Havoc Cobra Crew, and I got my boy Napalm here. Say what's up to everyone, Napalm. What's going on, everybody? And thank you, Marlon, for being here with us at the 19 year anniversary, my brother. We are super excited to bring you tonight. Guys, if this is the first time ever witnessing this, you are in for a treat. But before we start all this craziness and madness, Napalm, quickly, what are we doing here tonight? Yo, man, like I just said, it's the uh, it's the 19 year anniversary now. I mean, I've only been able to bless this crew with my presence. I hope it's been a blessing for the past uh, seven to eight years. But man, what, what a beautiful crew to be a part of. I mean, these guys really changed the game. Ghost, Cybot, LT, with just their style and breaking in a different way. And, uh, you know, to be a part of that is a beautiful thing. And, and to help elevate the crew to the next level has been a great thing. And, and, and the other thing besides that I'd like to say is, you know, we're just really a crew of brothers. So I'm just, just like have a Coro, I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of this team because they are my brothers and I do everything with them. So I am super, I'm super excited to be here today. This is a celebration. This is hip hop. When you guys think about hip hop culture, this is what hip hop is. And I know we're going to see a bunch of crazy competitors go at it. You're going to see a whole bunch of crazy moves. You're going to go see a whole bunch of ideas on the floor. But at the end of the day, this is hip hop. This is us celebrating hip hop. This is this is hip hop at its purest form. And, and I, I love b-boying simply because we are the hip hop nerds. I think we are the ones that really, really, really represent hip hop. I mean, you know, just to sacrifice clothing, to sacrifice time, to sacrifice responsibilities. Shoes. shoes. Sacrifice shoes. Shoes, baby. Just, just to get those moves down, just for that moment. And, and right now, what we're doing here is celebrating hip hop. And this is our hip hop right here. This is b boying. This is the element of b boying. Celebrating this. We have 16 top-notch competitors. We have seen 90 competitors basically give it their all and we had to pick 16. How hard is that, Napalm? You know, I was actually sitting, uh, you know, I'm one of the main promoters here with Cracker Zacks working on this event, and I was sitting back watching the judges deliberate, and uh, it was challenging for them to pick a top 16. And, you know, another thing that these guys on the live stream aren't going to be able to see is that the prelims were epic. Amazing. We had a first round prelim. It was Kareem versus Chirito. Yeah. That is a final battle, Marlon. We have uh, we have competitors coming from New York, from Texas, the West Coast. We have people coming all the way from Russia. Japan. From Japan, from Canada. Yo, we, we are very well-rounded. We are represented here tonight. Uh, I want to remind everybody, Please let us know what you think. Follow us on Twitter at ProBreakingTour, hashtag Lions of Zion. 
Instagram at Pro Breaking Tour at Silverback B Boy Events. Follow us on Twitter. Ask us questions. What do you want to know? We are going straight to the top 16. What you're hearing right now is the breakdown of all the competitors that are going to come down. The first battle we have, Thesis versus Elite. Can you talk a little bit about Thesis and what makes him special? Psh, I mean, I'm sure everybody all over the world knows what makes Thesis special by now. But I mean, the dude loves to rock beats. He loves to dance. So that's the first and most important thing. But then the other thing is the dude just has such an intricate style that not many people can... Uh, can handle in a battle usually. I mean, he won the Silverback Open last year, and that was all the top competitors in the world. So, I mean, this is this, he's battling somebody named Elite. Well, Thesis is pretty elite. Yeah, and, and definitely, Thesis is someone that um, moves you, you know, and I think a lot of these B boys, you're going to come out with a, tonight, you're definitely going to come out with a favorite B boy. And even if you have a favorite B-Boy, I guarantee you're going to come out with a new favorite B-Boy. We have B-Boy Elite versus Thesis first round. I want to remind everybody that here at UDEF, everybody gets paid. So for the top 16, just making it to the top 16, you get $100. So you lose right now, and you get 100 bucks. 100 bucks? That's not bad. You made money. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Next up is $300. Then it's $750. For second place, you get $1,500. And first place takes $3,000. 3000 for the champ tonight. That is dope for a one-on-one. -on -one. That is definitely dinner on him. First battle, we are going to start it off right. Thesis versus Elite. I am, I am super hyped. Let's do this. DJ, DJ Flag on the ones and twos. Music is very important to what we do, so tonight you are gonna hear an amazing soundtrack. B-Boy Elite oh, starting it off. Oh, coming out heavy. On. Coming out heavy. Here we go. I want everybody to notice the dancing. I want everybody to notice the power moves, the concentration, the intricacy, just the originality. That's what sets the B-Boys apart. Elite definitely coming strong at Thesis because he cannot hold back. This is good. Elite doesn't look all that nervous where most people would be against Thesis. All right, let's see what Thesis has to offer. Thesis is just one big bag of a whole bunch of moves. This is definitely one guy that you cannot be comfortable against. That's why you have to go all out. And always, my favorite thing about Thesis is he pays attention to the music. Absolutely, he lets the music dictate his movement. And this dude's got some moves. First round, starting off right. Thesis getting into his patents. Great thing about Thesis is his patterns are amazing. He goes into power, into footwork, into dynamics very easily. First round, second round, Elite to answer. Now Elite's a new and up and coming guy out of North Carolina. Does a lot of floats, a lot of power moves. Got some good freezes. So let's see what he has to offer for the second round. And even for the competitors that, that have been around for a very long time, all these new guys coming in, you cannot sleep on anybody. Once you make top 16, then that means you're going all out. And I just want to remind everybody that it is so tiring to do all of these moves. Yeah, Marlon and I can both attest to that one. That is absolutely the truth. All right, let's see what Mr. Thesis has for his second round. Bring it. Thesis always animated, always combining his style with character. Big ups to knuckleheads. Definitely one of the top crews in the world. All right, didn't come too heavy that second round, but I think Thesis might edge that one out. We're gonna check out the judges. I want to remind everybody that all these judges are highly qualified. You have over 50 years of experience up on that panel. This is gonna be exciting. Not many. Shout out to Silverback. Judges, on the count of three. One, two, three. Thesis. There it is. Thesis, Thesis unanimous. Unanimous. Next 
Good job. Good job to Elite making top 16. Uh, definitely one of the, this is like a mini silver back open right now. This is preparation for that event two weeks from now. I so for him to make top 16 is a beautiful thing, Marlon. I love the shot of Elite going up to the judges and shaking their hands. And after all, at the end of the day, you're going to see a whole lot of love. Even though this is very competitive, it's all love. You know, competition aside, money aside, it's all love. You're doing what I'm doing. You're B-boying, I'm B-boying. So we're family. That's right. And, you know, the judges have definitely put in their time, so they deserve all the respect right. in the world. So a handshake at the end, win or lose, is a beautiful hey, thing. Second round, we got Omen versus Yako. Boy, this is going to be a good battle. Yako bringing a different style. And Omen just playing with those music and uh, cra you know, just destroying it, shrekking it. You're going to see a lot of body types. You can see a whole lot of different kind of flavor. And that's one thing that I love about B-Boying. It's not certain body type. It's not certain people that only can do this. Everybody can do this. And as you see all these guys getting down on the floor, please pay attention to just, just the different specialties. And that's what makes this really cool. Yeah, there's something that's really dope about Yako I remember doing back in the day. If you watch him, he plays with the music with his mouth, and that helps him to stay on beat. I used to do that when I first started breaking, so you take a look there. Oh, hey. Yako's definitely DC bringing Europe? a freestyle flavor to this dance right here. He's super flexible, super original. So kids at home understand that originality is very important. Yako's first round definitely coming on strong. Good first round. round All right, Omen, what you gonna Omen, bring to the table, got, baby? I love Omen because he, he always reacts to the situation. And this is and this is a battle. Everybody, if you're joining us for the very first time and this is the first time you're witnessing a battle, it's just a big game of top this, basically. But Omen's got such good strength and control on his freezes, and then he also uses his flexibility to his advantage. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Bring it. Nice. Strong in the first round. Yakko's got to do some. Here we go. Sure. Right, let's see what we got here. Yakko's definitely abstract. But you do not <laughs> sleep on people like that, especially when they're going to the beat. When they're going Yakko to music, there is no wrong way of expressing the music. Oh, different oh, movements we haven't even seen before. This is beautiful. Bringing something new to the table. Now, he missed that thread right there. That might affect him a little bit. Here we oh, go. Man, that was a short second round. Let's see, Marlon. Omen, round two. Oh. Omen's one of those guys that has been representing for a very long time. He's definitely a 90s baby. He's one of those generations that uh, we call him the true school generation because these are the guys that flipped it up from the people from the 80s and just kind of ran away with it. So big ups to Omen. Big ups to everybody from the 90s. Give it up, give it up, Beautiful. Man. Good battle. Give it up. I might be feeling Omen on that one. I think Omen may have taken that one, Marlon. Judges on a count of three. Let's see what the judges say. One, two, three. Ooh. Omen I, I takes, Omen on Omen that one. takes it down. When you see one, the arms two, crossed, that means that's a tie. Omen. And they're basically to pointing Omen. to the side Omen. that they think won. So Omen definitely won that. Um, that was Next a really good up, battle. Big ups to Yako. Definitely represented wizard. represented his style. And that's one of the most Yato, important things right. here is that you want to represent who you are, who your group is, what part of the world you come from. So this is definitely a good opportunity to see a whole lot of different people coming from a whole lot of different parts of the world. So Bill big ups to Yako at, and big ups to Omen for there taking it down. And you know, that's a big thing we see nowadays in the b-boy scene is a lot of people, uh, we call it the YouTube generation. They kind of just follow a specific formula to win the jams, but it's really dope to see people like Yako have integrity with their dance and they do their style and they're proud of that. Win or lose, you gotta be you. And that's what we're looking for is character. You gotta be you, bring something to the table that no one has ever seen before on to the third battle we got gun phil wizard check it out gun from russia representing russia phil wizard starting it off these are definitely these new up-and-comers that we're warning you guys about do not sleep on anybody Ooh. these kids are intricate their patterns are brand new they're fresh and they're always on beat so this is going to be a definitely good battle first round this round from Phil Wizard, he's doing phenomenal. Now, I don't know this kid too well. Do you know where this young man is from? 
Now all I know is that he's fresh. Follow us on Twitter at Pro Breaking Tour. Hashtag Lions of Zion. Let us know what you think, who's winning it, who's taking it down, who you think is getting cheated. Gun from Mother Russia representing. This guy is another guy who just brings in his own flavor. Flexible style, and he's just always representing music. Now him and Yako, I believe they're in the same pool, correct, Marlon? I think so. But Gun definitely has one of those one of those styles that it's just it's just him. So you recognize Gun when he's dancing. Gun leaving it out, all out on the floor. You can't leave it. You can't leave it to doubt. You have to go all out every single time. Now it's just given word that Chorizo and Gun won the R16 World Finals. So this is definitely one of the top B-boys in the world right now that you just saw there. Bill Wizard answering top two rounds. Here we go, second round. He's got to leave it all out right now. Gun did really good on his first round. Nice, good stick there. What's he going to bring out? Nothing. Okay, he's out. So let's see what Gun's going to bring back in. Having fun, that's an important part as well. Got to enjoy yourself. The cool thing about Gun is, is he looks like he's just controlling the battle. He's bringing the pace to, like, you know, what he feels comfortable with. His freezes are very unique. He has, he has a really good game plan, and he sticks to it. Absolutely, and you know, something I notice about Gun is even if it looks like he may have messed up a little bit, he knows how to keep the flow going, so it doesn't even look like he made a mistake. Gun, Phil Wizard. Who do you think won? Hit us up on Twitter, at Pro Breaking Tour. Hit Judges us up on Instagram, on at Pro three. Breaking Tour, at Silverback B-Boy Events. Two, Here we go. Three. Gun. Gun. I got to see Gun uh, to myself over there in set. Poland, man. And we these guys Korean in Eastern Europe, Poland, top. Ukraine, Russia, Siberia. They got so many Korean good dancers out there. The they floor. got so many good dancers, and they definitely represent hip-hop. You know, they dress the part, they, they listen to the music, and it's, it's amazing that sometimes someone that doesn't even speak your language celebrates the same thing you do, so. And can inspire you so much. I mean, Marlon, I'll tell you this, you know, I was in, uh, you were commentating not too long ago when I was in the Red Bull BC1 North American Finals, and in the midst of my training for that, I was studying a lot of the Ukrainian and Russian people to give myself inspiration. So moving on to the next battle, it's gonna be a tough one. We got Anton from Canada, and we have Kareem from California. Kareem is definitely one of those competitive D-boys. This guy is a world traveler. He is everywhere. You ain't never there. I love Kareem. He's definitely one of those guys that always stays on top of his game. Anton starting it off. This guy is definitely, I'm just gonna let you see him, guys. He's just fresh. One thing I think we're going to see in this battle that, that Kareem may play on, Anton's a bit of a nice guy. Kareem can be a jerk when he battles. He knows how to play the mental game. So I look forward during this battle to see if Kareem plays on the mental aspect of breaking, not just the physical aspect. Anton, round one. I love his patterns. He's very unique. He's always clean. Keeps his flow going. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time you're witnessing B-Boy. This is how you B-Boy. Kareem. Kareem is definitely a battle cat. He's one of those guys that knows how to battle and he knows how to win battles. Yes, he does. And he's starting off heavy already. Bring it. Always in control. That's very important to control battles, to control the momentum, to play with the crowd, to play with the music. Round one. Here goes round two. Anton. And this is a good battle between footwork and dynamics. Yes, yes, that's the truth. You got a lot of interesting footwork and threads that come from the Canadians, and that's, you know, where Anton is from. And then, you know, where Kareem might have, let's say, a little more basic footwork, he definitely plays with the music, but his dynamics and blow-ups are just phenomenal. His power is amazing. And it really comes down to the perspective of the judge. You know, who the judge was feeling more, who definitely was controlling the battle, and who was hitting their stuff. It takes a lot to be a judge, doesn't it, Marlon? Oh, it's a yeah. difficult thing to yeah. judge, for him. And one thing I want to remind everybody, just because somebody loses today does not mean that they're not as good as their competitor. It just means that they did not hit their stuff today. Um, Kareem is just one of those guys that's just always ready. He's a battle cat. He knows how to battle. He knows how to battle his opponents. 
He knows how to dance to the music, and he lives the moment. All right, keeping it smooth. All right, we got the footwork now out of Kareem. I bet you he's going to finish with a nasty blow up. Bring it. All right, let's see what the judges say. That was a little bit of a short second round from Kareem, so I look forward to seeing where this one goes. Big up sword all night. But who am I? Let's see what the judges have to say. Yeah. Judges, on the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh, all Kareem five to Kareem. To nice. Round. Unanimous to Kareem. Big ups to Anton, Canada, Four representing. Next. Kareem moves on to the, the second bracket. round. Guys, want to remind Kate. everybody, we are at the Trudeau. Lions of Zion 19th anniversary. UDEF sanctioned by... The Pro Breaking Tour sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. I want to... I want to cordially invite everybody tonight to just an experience to experience this with us Cheerito. i'm super hype i'm, a, I'm right. a little tongue-tied right now because the competition is just so dope uh, big ups to lions of zion for putting this together 19 Shout years to guys celebrating 19 Shout years of hip-hop we got chirito chirito versus kid k chirito representing russia yo chirito is one of the dopest, funnest, most exciting people to watch. He's gonna bring musicality, he's gonna bring footwork, dynamics, I mean, he puts it all together, he just, he's a character, too. Now we got this young man here, Kid K. This is a young and up-and-coming dude out of New York, so he's definitely gonna crush it. Let's see how he plays the game. It's gonna be a good battle of character. Kid K has a really nice character, pretty aggressive, his movement is very on point. His flow is always on beat. Those guys that makes you smile because he always has a smile on his face. You know, and that's one of the things I want to see is the young kids coming up doing it big, and he's one of them that's making me proud right now in the scene, at least in the Upper East Coast. Now, what's Torito gonna bring this round? There it is. I want to remind everybody, please pay attention because these guys do like a million moves every single time they go down to the floor. So. It's all about the details. Pay attention to the dancing. Pay attention to the beats. It's just everything. It's everything. So, and that's, a, I think, a, a major Whoa. thing that a lot of people that are new or don't understand breaking very well is they look at these big moves and they get excited by them, but listen to Chirito hitting the beats while he's doing this stuff. Chirito's definitely one of those guys that's super flexible, freakishly flexible, but he has a lot of fun doing it. He will make you smile if you watch it. And uh, by the way, these giant gestures are just saying, uh, I did better than you. Let's just leave it at that. Kid K answering round two. Here we go. He's got to come big. Nice. His flow always keeps going. Momentum, energy always up. Which is good because these first couple battles actually, it looked like people were getting really tired in their second round. Kid K looks strong during his second round. Very fluid. Last round. Chirito, last round of the battle. Chirito's gonna pull something out. Another guy I saw, I saw in Russia, in his element, and this guy's a beast. Oh, very good, very good. Now I hope this shoelace doesn't trip him up. Chirito's gotta stay focused right now. Chirito's signature movements. I want to remind everybody that there's a lot of movements that you're going to see tonight that you're not going to see anywhere else in the world because these guys are so original. This is what you create. As a b-boy, one thing that you want to do is be original. Have your own character. Have your own style because at the end of the day, it's all about style. And Chirito's actually one of those guys that has his own style. So here we go. The judges. It's going to be a tough battle to call. So... I don't even want to. I agree with that. Kid K did really good. I'm very go. proud of that. We have man. our first upset of the night. Here we go. We got a janitor on the floor trying to represent for janitors everywhere. Big ups. We got Chirito taking it down. Good. Yo, Kid K got a tie, though. That's pretty dope. Against somebody like Chirito for him to get a tie. Good for him. And always shaking hands with the judges. All love. You see the smiles. 
Guys, this is hip hop culture. This is this is beautiful. Celebrating Lions as I on 19 years. This is how you do it right. That's right. You know, Kid K, he's gonna walk right out into the ciphers and he's gonna start dancing again. I know that kid. I wanna remind everybody that you are watching the Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by U Dev, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. We are on the top 16. Let's go. Scumbag Jose on my right. DJ Black, let's do it. Boom. All right, we got our next round. So this round is going to be Burn versus Scumbag Jose. Scumbag Jose is definitely one of those kids that is coming up right now. He is everywhere right now. He has proven himself, and this is what you got to do. As a young B-boy, you fly yourself out. You get yourself to these places. You go to these battles. So Burn taking round one. Here we go. Round Illusions Canada. All right, Burn's going to have that funky flavor and footwork. Let's see what he's got to offer in the first round. Man, sometimes I watch these guys out of Canada, Marlin, and I think to myself, how did they come up with that? Canada's definitely known for their unique footwork style and transitions. They keep it, they always keep it fresh, and that's one of the things I like. Scumbag Jose, though, has a lot of things. He has a good combination of footwork and power, so he's definitely going to show it. Character, too, Marlon. We've been talking about character, and Jose definitely has that. Jose represent Houston, Texas. Big ups to Hazardous Zombies crew. Okay. He's definitely one of those guys that represents his crew very well. Yo, he just played with that beat, threw some power. Scumbag Jose may be taking that first round right now. That was a long first round, Marlon. I hope he's got the energy for round two. He's young and he's hungry. He has a lot to prove, and he's out here to prove it. Burn, round two. Burn's he's gotta bring it this round, Marlon. He's gotta bring it up. Here we go. Burn, coming in with those transitions, that unique footwork, that Canadian style, representing. Here we go. Beautiful. Keeping his composure. That's important after a first round like Scumbag Jose just performed. Let's see what he's got to finish with. Red, burn right there. I guess that goes along with his name, doesn't it? All right, bring it, scumbag Jose. The one thing that I like about Jose is that he doesn't need anything to doubt. He wants to show everything that he does out on the floor. He puts it all out and he puts it very nicely together. This kid is one of those gym rats. He's definitely a practice cat. He just loves practicing. I love, I love practicing with him. He hypes me up. Straight out of Houston, Texas, Hazardous Zombies crew. Right. Marlon, what type of shampoo do you think he uses? He uses, <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I'm sure it's three pounds of it. One, <laughs> he just two, has tons of hair. Three. What do we Here got? Come go back, Jose, it. takes it down. Hazardous Jose Zombies, big ups, Houston, Texas. If big ups to Canada, big ups to Burn. Let's Coming up next. We got Jammy going against Louie. Okay, we're Jeremy moving on to the next round. It looks like our lion may be injured. Cracker's Axe is helping him out. Well, we make slight the next battle the is coming up. We got Jeremy from Havocoro Crew out of like Houston, that. Texas Yo, versus Louie. Now, have you ever heard of this guy Jeremy before, Marlon? Um, he's a good kid. I want to remind everybody, you're, you're watching the 19th anniversary of Lions of Zion. Presented by the Bro... Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Welcome, well, everybody, to the live stream. Tweet I am your host, Marley, from Havocoro Crew, and we got my boy Napalm to the left of me. What's going on? What's Tweet going on? Now, check it. Everybody that loses in the top 16 right now, we got this battle and one more still. They're going to get a $100 check. That's date night Louis money. That's right, baby. We got Jeremy from Havocoro versus Louie. I saw this kid, Louie, in the prelims, man, and he's one of those kids that's just so unassuming, and then they just go in the floor and kill it. You know, and we got to be honest though jeremy is in your crew and he's dope so this kid louie has to crush it this battle because we know jeremy's gonna bring it let's check out his footwork i want you guys to pay attention to, to jeremy because he does a million things in his round and just like in a hungry young b-boy fashion he always goes first and you know what I like about Jeremy hard. real quick, Marlon? I didn't mean to cut you off there, brother, but it is hot out there, and my boy is wearing a sweatshirt. That's, that's that style. That's that style. He's always on that 70-degree temperature. Here we go. Louie answering round one. This is going to be a good round. Louie filling out that beat. 
dancing, guys, dancing. This is a dance. This is our dance. This is how we make it rain. Who we represent. Here we go. Let's be honest. This is a good beat to feel out. We like this one. Louis smiling, having a good time, man. That's so very important. That energy is going to go right out into your dance when you're having a good time. All right, that's a good first round. Little crash between the competitors. Bring it, Jeremy. Jeremy is very aggressive. He takes battling very serious, and he's definitely one of those guys that wants to represent who he is and who and where he comes from. And that's what your crew's about, man. Havakura is known for battling Marlon. I know you know that. You're one of the main ones. So he, he's bringing it and representing you guys beautifully these past couple years. I've seen him. Here we go, Louis. Round two. What's he got? Louis filling the beat, setting up the environment. Jeremy's not impressed. Louis going to have to come down. Here we go. I felt a little, little John inspired on that movement there. <laughs> He's doing a lot of forward. He's doing a lot of things. He's doing. He's putting together a pretty good round. Woo! Nice. He missed that thread a little bit, Marlon. That's going to be a tough battle to call because Jeremy's second round was a little short, but Louis didn't really come too, too heavy. Let's see what these judges think. Exuberant looks like he doesn't know what to think right now. <laughs> One, two, three. That's Jeremy takes it down. Boy. Unanimous. Five votes. Big ups to Louie. Next Big ups up to Have a Coral Crew of Houston, Texas. Big ups to Jeremy for taking it down. We got our gravity. final battle. We got a great battle, guys. Momo versus Gravity. Now listen. Listen, as I remind you guys that we are presented by Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. We have a monster Gravity. coming up to the floor, and her name is Momo. Uh, her name is yeah, Momo. She, her name. I, her name I is Momo. I am a fan. I am a fan of Momo. But she's right facing someone DJ very, Brad, very dangerous. Very you may know. Late. You may know the guy. This guy's name is Gravity. So this guy, uh, even though his name is Gravity, I don't think Gravity applies to him. And uh, his b-boy name should be 900 miles per hour. Momo representing <laughs> Japan, representing B-Girls. Listen, in the beginning of the competition, I told you over 90 competitors competed to be in this top 16. Momo beat out over 90 competitors to be in this point right now. Momo definitely representing B-Girls, definitely representing hip-hop, definitely representing Japan. Here we go, Gravity, round one, and Gravity is energy king. He is a monster energy drink in sneakers. Here we go. Monster B-Boys, Gravity, round one. You know what I like about Gravity? The intensity on his face. I love it. Now Momo is going to bring it. Let's go, Momo. Momo has that Japanese style. They're very animated. They're very animated, and they just have style for days. Her footwork is very unique. She's very flexible, but she is always in control, and that's one of the things that I love about her. Blowing on the floor. Nice. That was a good first round out of Momo. Here we go. Gravity. Round two, and gravity goes 120 miles per hour. Keeping it smooth. Now he slows down. That was good. Gravity is so fun to watch. Yeah, and this dude will go to a competition, Marlon, and he'll enter every single bracket possible. He would enter the B-Girl battle if he could. It's when you're young, man, when you're young. <laughs> oh, Momo good freeze definitely Momo. represent. Momo's not making it easy for Gravity. Momo's re You know, some of these B-Girls, you know, that are out right now, you know, they want to stick to just, to just, you know, lower level competition. Momo's definitely one of those girls that she wants to test herself. And this is how you do it. You do it against the best. That's you right. come in, you practice super hard, and you don't want to win a B-girl battle. You want to win a B-boy battle. You want to go up against the best. And that is what Momo is doing today. You know what else is really dope, Marlon? You can see on her face, she's not threatened at all. Oh, no. You know, you see that on a lot of people's faces, especially B-girls when they're facing some of the better B-boys in the scene. They might be a little bit threatened. She did not look threatened at all. Let's see what these judges have to say on that one. Gravity, Gravity takes Gravity that one. Gravity takes it down. Big ups to Momo. We're big ups to Japan. Big ups to Canada. <laughs> On the left, it looks like Isaiah did not agree with that call. <laughs> <laughs> big ups to Gravity for taking it down. Momo definitely represented. She definitely has a fan out of both of us today. And uh, 
I think she made a whole lot of other fans tonight. So we got second round coming up. Thesis versus Omen. Now we got a preview of this. We got a preview of this in the prelims and um, they went at it one round. And I think uh, they have to finish it tonight. And I know everybody did not see the first round and the first round was fire. Uh, Thesis doing his politician thing and making sure the judges know that he loves them. But Omen, always determined, always ready. Thesis, even though he's silly, even though, you know, he plays it cool all the time, he is serious about this. He is business. He came to win. He didn't come to lose, Marlon. Hey, let me talk about losing real quick. For all of the competitors that lose in round two, they get a $300 check. $300. That's like two or three dinners with your girl, that, Marlon. That is, that is definitely, that's, that's half your rent if you're a young b-boy. Here we go. Omen, starting it off. This is how you do it. This is how you set it up. You do not waste music. When you are a dancer, you do not waste music. And Omen definitely loves music. Marlon can't waste the music because we're going to see everything that goes on with shoes like that, baby. Yeah. Boom. That was a good move out of Marlon. Shoulder front flip. Here we go. You know, what's tough about these competitions now where, uh, you know, we kind of go from round one into round two pretty quick. These guys got to go get some water and keep their energy up because they move from round to round quite fast. Yeah. Sometimes in these ones by the... Uh, the final battle, it's that, uh, it's a battle of attrition. Like, how long can you last? It was Thesis' first round. And Thesis is one of those guys that definitely puts a lot of energy out into the floor. And if you notice all those lights out there, these lights play a factor into your energy. But Thesis just always looks in control, always flows perfectly. So we go. Thesis putting together his round like he always does. It's just one big puzzle, putting it together, always on beat. Right, and it's hard to see when his back is to us, but this dude is a master of threading. I mean, if you really pay attention, his threads are so intricate. Here we go. All right, round two, baby. Omen's got to come strong. He's going to come down to this round. Here we go. Very clean out of Omen right now. Nice. These guys oh. always snapping their freezes, always executing perfectly. Thesis. Wants to end it strong. He can't leave doubt on the floor. Here we go. Thesis coming through. Nice. Thesis is definitely going to bring a little extra. You know, Omen went straight for the kill. Thesis brought a couple extra moves. Let's and see what the judges think, Marlon. That's one thing you want to show. You want to show what your competitor lacks. You want to show if your competitor goes short. You want to go a little bit longer just to show how much more energy and how much more experience you have. Here we go. Whoa, that is, Whoa, that is have, a tie, we Marlon. We have our first tie. Our first tie. Yo, Marlon, I got to say something. I don't know if you noticed it, but I really, I, I, I scanned the audience after the battle was over. I saw so many teeth, so many smiles. Oh, yeah. Now imagine the smiles because there's another round. This is, this is one of those battles that you do not want to see end. And this is a, a very good battle. I like this battle. So here we go. We have one more round. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Here we go. Omen versus Thesis. Let's see who's going to go first. Whoever's hungrier, we do not waste music around here. Look at the judge. Look at Wicked getting hyped. That's how good this battle is. Look at everybody getting hyped. Look everybody at the audience right now, hyped. baby. Here we go. Omen. Smiling, having a good time. All right, what's Omen going to bring to the table to win this and get the judges' favor? Going to power. Head spins. Keeping it old school, but keeping it fresh. Here we Still go. Still going. Nice. Whoa. The issue with that might be, might be, that he did a little bit of that freeze earlier, it looked like, Marlon. We'll see what the judges think. Nice. All right, we got some signature omen movements here. Boom. Big freeze. Very nice, very nice. Here we go, Thesis. Thesis has to answer. This is it. Now, Omen looked a little bit maybe tired, a little bit. So let's see if Thesis can bring some additional energy, hit some good blow-ups. He might be able to edge this one out. Omen only did 30 head spins. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. Thesis has a good, just a good balance of strength, a good balance of flow, foundation, power. This is, this is one of those guys that just knows what they're doing. And he has character, and he's always on beat, so it's not hard to tell why he's a crowd favorite. Two completely different rounds, Marlon. Here we go. It's up to the judges. 
No That's why I do not like no judging. Pass. I just no like pass. talking about the <laughs> judges. Here we go. Fair enough. One, two, three. Omen. Boom. We have Omen our first won. upset of the night. We got Omen That's moving up. on. Big ups to guns. Thesis. Knuckleheads. Green. Big up to Omen. Had to go big to pull this off. This is this is big. Here we go. I think we are we are in the middle of it now. It's going to get a lot more interesting. I'm going to tell you this. I think that loss right there is going to fire Thesis up to crush it at the Silverback Open in a couple of weeks. What do you think, Oh, yeah, Marvin? it's coming. 19th anniversary, Lions of Zion, presented by Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDev, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. <sighs> Welcome, everybody. We are in the second round of the top 16. We have Gun versus Kareem. Two different styles, two different battle cats. We got Russia versus the West Coast. US versus Russia. Kareem going first. As I said it before, Kareem is just a master of what he does. So here we go. Mr. World Traveler himself representing. Neither one of these guys ever look like they get tired. I think this is going to be a hot fire battle. Look at that. Bam. Still going. And clean. One thing that I like Ooh. about Kareem's dynamics is that he puts his own personal touches to everything. And we have a very good foundation in breakdancing where people can follow a pattern and follow a blueprint, but you definitely have to put your, your fingerprints on that blueprint. Here we go, Gun. Kareem just killed that, Marlon. Gun's gotta bring it this first round. And he will. Gun does not look phased by anything Kareem did. Here we go. Flexible style. <laughs> Humongous thread. That was like a six foot thread right there. <laughs> Here we go. Gun. Round one, answering Kareem. Wow. Very nice, man. Very original, very flexible. Same with that character. We've been talking about character all night, Marlon. And this is what I was talking about earlier about everybody's different body types everybody i mean you use that to your advantage if you're if you're tall if you're short if you're flexible if you're strong like you use that to it to your advantage and that's one thing that i love about b-boying is you definitely you're always going to have an advantage no matter what your body type you're always going to have an advantage and here goes kareem kareem is definitely one of those powerful guys he is kareem's a little calf muscle you know he's, he's a, a little calf muscle he's ready <laughs> he's ready to explode at any second here we go kareem Always in control, never phase. Here we go. That was the hypest the crowd has gotten all night. Let's see if Kareem feels that energy and takes it to the next level. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, Round playing two. with the music. Playing with the music. That's how important the music is. If the music slows down, then you slow down. And that's a perfect example of how important the music is in our dance. Kareem cut it a little short. Here we go. Let's see if Gun can take advantage of this. Gun, round two. Russia looking to take this down. Another upset. Are we witnessing it? Here we go. Gun going to start putting it together. Had the opportunity back in 2012. Myself, Isaiah, and Soapy, Lions of Zion, battled Gun, Chorizo, and Fun in the finals in France. And we had to really plan a good strategy to beat these guys. They are just some of the best b-boys in the world. So let's see what Gun's going to finish off with to beat Kareem. Will that be enough? Here we go. This is when people's energy starts Two coming into factor. Here we go. <laughs> Look at Fun. No longer sitting Indian style. Must have gotten a little hype that round. Here we go. One, two, three. Kareem takes it. Kareem takes it down. All right, all right. And for a lot of you guys that don't understand on how people judge, it really comes down to the judge's expertise and their perspective on how they see the battle. And that's one thing that we love about our culture and our dance, that it's, it's very art, it's very artistic, and artist perspective. And to a lot of the judges, even though sometimes it may seem to a regular audience like, why didn't that person win? Because they were more dynamic or they were stronger, or they were a lot more flexible. At times, you have to notice the things that people don't notice. And it's tough to be a judge simply because you have to be the bad guy sometimes. And sometimes you get booed and sometimes people get mad. But that's that's all part of the challenge of being a judge and judging all these really amazing b-boys. We're moving on to the next round. We got Chirito versus Scumbag Jose. This is going to be a very interesting battle. 
you know, just going off while we're waiting for these guys to get started, you know, you're talking about the judging, and, you know, I think that is one of the really challenging things about us is, you know, this is such an artistic dance. It's, it's very hard for people to standardize judging, which, you know, in martial arts, they're standardized judging in gymnastics and ballet and ice skating. And that is one of the more challenging things that we've had to do over the years is, uh, is figure out how to standardize judging. And it just hasn't happened yet. It is quite subjective in a lot of ways because it's, it's hard, you know? It's, it's tough to be a judge. I'm with you on that, Marlon. That's the way I like it, though, because we <laughs> yeah. are artists on the floor. Chirito, right. round one versus Scumbag Jose. Chirito's actually one of these guys that's a crowd favorite because you just want to see what he's going to come up with next. Here we go, Chirito, dancing to the beat, always. Starting with dynamics, his own personal dynamics, Whoa. of course. He's a very good combination of flexibility and strength and control and flow, but he dances. That's why I like him. Here we go. Kirito's actually from Siberia. Uh, yeah, I said it, Siberia. It is cold 3,000 days out of the year there. <laughs> Here we go. 3,000, that's right, Marlon. Chirito. Or my math could be a little bit off. Yeah, it might but be a little bit off, little but, bit but I, you know, I won't say uh, that Chirito's math was off. He crushed that first round, but Scumbag Jose comes out with some nasty elbow to 2,000s. Scumbag Jose, Houston, Texas, where it is hot 3,000 days out of the year, <laughs> so it's definitely day and night battling right now. Scumbag Jose definitely has to come up strong. He's definitely the up-and-comer in this battle. That's right, but you know what? He does not look nervous. He's going off. A little slip up right there, but he's still going off. This dude's bringing the energy. Wow, very nice ending. Very clean, very clean. Chirito, you better bring it this round. Get him. I want everybody to notice how into it the crowd is. The smiles is so intense in there. Here we go, Chirito, round two. Chirito's definitely one of those guys that takes advantage of his style, his body type. He's very flexible. He goes with the music, so he's definitely fun to watch. He's fun to watch, man. He's, look at that. I mean, things you've never even seen people do. I might have crashed like that one day. This dude turned it into a move, Marlon. There you go. He falls with style. <laughs> That's right. Playing with the music, slowing down. He's not making mistakes right now. He means to do that. One mistake he can make is taking it easy on this round because his comeback Jose definitely has something planned. Here we go. Jose has the zombies crew. Second round, he's got to come big. Here we go. Setting the environment up. Starting with power. Let us know okay. what you think on Twitter. Follow us at Pro Breaking Tour. Hit us up on Instagram at Pro Breaking Tour at Silverback B-Boy Events. Let us know what you think. What was your favorite moments right now? Who you think should have won? Now it looks like the floor may have come up a little bit right there. I hope that goes on. No, Jose came out of that a little bit tired. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what the judges right, think. I want to remind everybody. The these guys are putting a lot of energy into each round. Here we go. Chirito takes it down. Very good. It was three to two. It was a very close battle. Chirito always paying respect. This is hip hop culture. Jose paying respects to the judges. Jose did really good. He impressed me today, man. Uh, he's, he's definitely one of those kids, man. He wants to come up. He wants to come up, and he's doing it right. Right now, we have Jeremy versus Gravity. This is going to be a very good battle. Jeremy does not leave anything out of the floor, but neither does Gravity. This is going to be too intense people going at it. Here we go. B-Boy at its finest. This is going to be a very good battle. Yeah, it's going to be a heavy one, man. Here we go. Two different styles. We got Five Jeremy. Crew Dynasty, Monster B-Boys, have a Coral Crew on the floor representing Jeremy starting round one. I'm getting hype right now. Here we go. Jeremy starting with some dynamics, showing that he has dynamics and going into his own style. Here we go. Jeremy slip slipped up, up right a little there. bit. A little bit, a little bit. But we know Jeremy. He's going to bring it back. Very clean footwork. Jeremy. Redding. Jeremy's one of those guys that takes advantage of, of his style. And he just is always on beat, always with music. Music is very important. Here we go. Gravity, round one. You cannot sleep on this guy. Now this is the guy you aim for in the battle. Very nice. It's possible for Gravity to easily crush this round and take it because there was a little slip up from Jeremy. So Gravity can just stay clean with his dynamic speed. 
that would be beautiful. Will we say boom goes the dynamite right there, Marlon? I think so. <laughs> Here goes Jeremy, the answer, round two. Let's see what he's got. He's got to come up with it. Here we go. Got to stay clean this round. Come on, Jeremy. I want to remind everybody that Jeremy is part of Break Free Community Center, a teacher. He teaches a bunch of young kids. He definitely has a, the new generation coming up for him in Houston. And this, this guy is just an amazing teacher. Big ups to Jeremy, win or lose. Here we go. Gravity, round two. Gravity has a gymnastics background, as you can tell, but he, he b-boys with it. So that's one thing that I love about him is that even though he can tumble and he can flip and do everything, he's, he's always a b-boy. He has that b-boy attitude and brings it onto the floor. Cut it a little bit short on that second round. Let's see what the judges think. I gotta say, Marlon, I'm really proud of the both of them. It looks like the floor in the middle has come up a little bit after, after the last battle. And they both handled that really, really well, which is challenging. We got a tie. We have a we got tie. A tie. We have a tie, and I think I think the tie came Don't from tie. Gravity cutting it a little bit short, and Jeremy uh, slipping up a little bit in the first round. So a good judge is always going to. One more round. Here they we gotta go. touch up on that floor. I really hope they do that right now. Here we go. One more round. Just like in true b-boy fashion, I'm sure Jeremy's gonna go first. Young b-boys, please pay attention because this is how you respect people that you're trying to really, really compete against. You respect them, you respect DJ your environment, Flair, you respect enjoy. just the culture. Jeremy's like a master of ties. He's had some ties this year he's had yeah. to deal with. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big but he trains for it, he trains for it. He Big definitely, he's one of those guys that events. that exercises and keeps his body in shape. And uh, I don't have to tell everybody that gravity is we definitely one of those guys right that's now. always ready to battle at any given second because that's, that's how these guys walk around. They walk around ready. Here we go. Tiebreaker, Jeremy, gravity. You have to shake off that slip up. You have to shake it off. You have to come through. It's a new round. It's a new round. Jeremy filling the music. Jeremy's dancing is definitely unique. He definitely has fun with it. Here we go. Nice. Playing with that three step. Staying clean with the footwork. Sometimes it's not about doing the biggest things, it's just being fresh on the floor, being complete, showing the judges that you are good to go, that you are ready. Here we go. Gravity throwing it up with the dynamics, setting it up. He definitely wants to get through this battle. It's always dope watching these guys. Some of the moments that one can create in time and b-boying, just that moment with the music, and they hit that blow up where they just play with that footwork perfectly. All right, let's see what the judges say after that tiebreaker. Tell us what you think on Twitter at Pro Breaking Tour. Hashtag Lions of Zion. Let us know. Here we go. And that one goes out to Gravity, my friend. Gravity Jeremy takes it down. Great. Big ups to Jeremy. Big ups to Havoc Poro. Big ups to Break Free and all the Texas community family watching this. And uh, big ups to Gravity. Gravity definitely had to go strong on that round, as you can see. We are at the 19th anniversary of Lions of Zion, presented by Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. Want to welcome everybody. Silverback B-Boy events definitely represent here. Every B-Boy that just lost is walking away with $300. That's, that that kind of helps with, uh, you know, you losing and all. So here you go. Here's 300 bucks. You'll be all right. And now we're moving into the next round, aren't we, Marlon? Omen versus Kareem. Boy. Omen definitely surprised a lot of people when he took thank down you, Thesis you. on the last round. Omen is definitely one of those guys that you do not want to sleep on. He's an opportunist when it comes to music, and he steals beats, and he hits freezes. And when I was talking about body types, guys, when I was talking about it doesn't matter how tall, how strong, how short, how big you are. This is this is these are great these are great examples of people that just definitely. Pull it off. We are at the Pro Breaking Tour. You Dev. Big ups to everybody. Big ups to Monster. Powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. Big ups to everybody joining us. The Silver B Boy events. Silverback B Boy events. Please stay tuned because you do not want to miss how this ends. We got our tape master, Zach 
Cracker Zacks. Um, yo, this guy does everything. Big ups to Zach today. He's been a janitor, a water boy, yeah, I, I've been trying a b-boy. Big ups, big ups to Mantis putting down this VCR and the bathroom thing going on back here. I, I've been trying to teach Zach the art of delegation today. And uh, I can't say that I have... I've been able to succeed with that, but I will work with him on that at definitely the upcoming jams that we work on together. Hey, let's talk about this. So now we're into the semi-final round. And whoever loses, all right, these next two competitors during these two battles that lose are gonna leave with $750. Back in the day, you couldn't even win a one-on-one -on -one for $750. These guys are gonna lose this round and take home $750. And this is the great thing about the Pro Breaking Tour and UDEF, just giving opportunities to young B-boys to to kind of reward them for their hard work. You know, even if you're not gonna be here to win it all, you're still gonna walk away with something. And uh, a lot of times the experience is great, but you know, getting paid for something that you love doing, I mean, that's that's just icing on the cake. That's the greatest thing in the world. We right have there. Omen versus Kareem. Omen versus Kareem, this is gonna be a very good battle. Omen, he, uh, he's a shark. He's a he shark with him first, Marlon. He likes setting it up. That's how you do it. If you're a judge, you love seeing people like Omen because you do not waste music and you can't wait to dance. Here we go. You know, while we're watching Omen kill it right now, I just want to give a shout out to you, Marlon. Thank you for being here at our anniversary and doing the commentating for us, man. It's a real blessing and a pleasure. Uh, I just got to say personally from me, you're one of the first B-boys I saw that really it gave me the concept and idea of what blowing up is all about. And I thank you for being here, brother. Oh, man, dope. As we see Kareem coming into his first round, always executing. I, I'm just so blessed to be part of the scene, so blessed to be part of the pop culture. I'm just blessed to be able to still dance with these guys and, uh, you know, now, you know, evolving into talking about these guys. And I, I, I just love being able to represent my culture in different aspects. So Kareem definitely putting it down on the floor. Round one is 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 getting put together very nicely. Here we go, Omen. What's Omen thinking right now? Yeah. Well, uh, Kareem doesn't have to do a lot right now because you know Omen did have a pretty bad crash at the end of his first round. So uh, I'm gonna say that if I was a judge, Kareem definitely stayed smooth. He took that first round. Now Omen has to crush it this round in order to win or edge out this battle. He's got to go off. But what did we talk about earlier? It's it's that law of attrition. Like, he's got to have that energy because you're just going to keep battling until the finals. You don't get long breaks nowadays. The battle's still up for grabs. Round two on the way. Omen's going a little bit long, trying to make up for that first round. Here we go. Kareem, last round, round two. Just like I said before, Kareem knows what he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you guys know that this guy knows what he's doing. When you battle this guy, you are battling experience. You are battling a whole bunch of battles. Here we go. Kareem, round two. He's looking always smooth, always Dynamics. executing. And that's right, Marlon. He is executing. He's executing well. He's killing this battle. This is a very good semifinal for him. And he does big moves, and that's the great thing about him is he does he doesn't play it safe. He does big moves that he can mess up on, and he still throws them and he and he hits them. And I think this is so dope. Let's see what the judges think. I think I know what the judges think. That one. Kareem takes it. Kareem moves on. Shout out to Omen though. Omen's 90s generation b-boy. I mean, so is Kareem. But, uh, you know, to make it into the top, what are we on now? The four? We're on the top four out of all these young b-boys, over 90 competitors today. That's a beautiful thing to see. I want to give a big shout out to a very special young lady. Her name is Jude, three-year-old little girl out there hearing me for the very first time. I just want to say, hey, Jude. Uh, we're moving on to the next round, Chirito versus Gravity. Uh-oh, Marlon, this is going to be a battle, brother. This is going to be a great battle. So if you are a fan of humongous b-boy events, if you are a fan of humongous b-boy characters, uh, this is a very good battle. I think a lot of people in here are just anxious to see this battle. Gravity just made a face, so I don't know exactly what that face meant. I think that face means uh, I'm gonna destroy this guy. Mm. And Chirito's smile is like, come and take it, brother. Here we go. Ha <laughs> Chirito starts us off. Chirito's like a, just like a hip hop golfer right now. Just like very smooth, very chill. Here we go with the Kango looking fresh. I'm liking Chirito's fit right now. 
I like everything you're talking about, but I think if you put a white doctor's coat on him, we'd look at Chirito as Dr. Chirito the Evil. Oh, he's operating. <laughs> he's operating right now. Yes, he so is, Here sir. we go. Chirito starting strong with his style, making sure everybody knows that he's out there on the floor. He can't cut it short, and he, he definitely has to hit some big movements against gravity. Here we go. Wow, on beat. I love how the crowd just reacts. Whoa. The crowd reacts to everything that is happening. You know, these guys are smiling. I mean, they're, this is dope. All right, what's Gravity going to bring to the table to take out Chiritos first round? Bring in the flips. Boom. Like I told everybody, Gravity has that gymnastics background, but he always makes it B-boy fresh. Always with the foundation, always into Gravity style. That was a big thing with Gravity. When he first started, I was watching this young man come up. A lot of flips, a little bit of power, but he's really moved into a lot more top rock and footwork, and he's trying to elevate his level of, of the dance, of the culture, and it's really dope to see people want to elevate themselves and improve in areas that might not be their best. That might not be his strength in the footwork area, the top rock area, but he's working on those things to develop himself and make himself more well-rounded. That's what we like to see. Elevate yourself. All right, Chirito playing, doing his thing. Let us know what you think on Twitter, at Pro Breaking Tour, hashtag Lions of Zion. Who you got? Nice, Chirito. Chirito's definitely bringing out the big, the big guns on this one. Here we go. Last round. Gravity's got to go off. He's got to defy it. No matter what you throw at Gravity, no matter what you throw at Gravity, he always has an answer for it, and that's, that's how you battle. That's how you're supposed to battle. Yeah, when I see Gravity, I just think about a warrior. Like, he doesn't care if he's going to lose, going to win. Like, he's just going out to crush. Looks like he's got donkey's approval. Ah, uh, here we go. I don't know about that. He ended a little short. That's a tough one, man. Here we go. Let's see what the judges think. I love the judge's body, his body language. The body language. <laughs> and it is Chirito. So Chirito. our finals today is Kareem versus Chirito. It's going to be a good final, my man. Kareem versus Chirito. This is going to be good. This is going to be great simply because it's going to be a battle of two different styles. Listen. We are at the 19th anniversary of Lions of Zion, presented by Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Big ups to Mackie. Listen, guys, I want to welcome everybody. Silverback B-Boy events. You have been watching an amazing event. Just wind down. Um, we're here to pay homage to, to Lions of Zion crew, doing it. 1996, 1996. That I didn't even a, start breaking until 99, Marlon. That is that is a very long time. I think I started breaking at the, in the summer of 1996. How so that, man? That's a big year. I think a lot of amazing b-boys started breaking at that time. Um, I wanna, I just wanna point out that everybody alongside money is gonna get a Mackie free play portable PA speaker. And this is perfect for b-boy practices. This is perfect to play with Bluetooth devices on your phone. This, I mean, you can play everything on this. You can practice for days on this. Um, Yo, big shout out to Uber as well. How many b-boys you think took Uber out here today, Marlon? I took Uber. You, you took Uber today. Was it your first time on Uber today? I think that was my first. I feel so hip. I'm yeah, like, man, I'm you're like 20. Two yeah, together, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, what's that line? Get down with the Google Planets, you're a hipster. <laughs> so uh, I definitely it's felt hip and cool by taking Uber, but uh, I just want to give a big shout out to you, Dev, and Pro Breaking Tour, and what they've been doing for our culture and our scene right now. Um, they have definitely been showing a lot of love to a lot of up and coming b boys, but b boys that have, that have been doing it for a very long time, they're providing a lot of opportunities. They're they're sponsoring a lot of these events that usually would just have to fend on their own. And, uh, you know, Lions of Zion crew is definitely one of those people that, that is under that umbrella of UDEF, but, you know, deserves to be highlighted and deserves to be highlighted properly. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into these events. There's a lot of, there's a lot of hours. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of sweat that goes into providing something like this and at the end of the day this is hip-hop and this is what we're here for we're here to celebrate our dance and even though you see a lot of these guys get very emotional and and and, 
and very passionate about what they do. And even when they lose, you can see it in their face. But at the end of the day, guys, it's all love. It's all love. And, and that's one thing that I love about this culture is that it's about love. It's about love. It's, it's, it's me coming over here and knowing that I'm going to be around family because these are the same people that do what I do. And I love it. Yo, know, speaking about love and culture, Marlon, you know, there was, there was a lot of b-boys that were coming out here from all over the planet. And we had, uh, we had a few of them who didn't quite have a place to stay. And talking about culture and community, the way everybody came together to help out a lot of b-boys from out of country and out of the scene and give them a place in their own home to stay, uh, that's culture, that's community, that's brotherhood. And we definitely have that within our culture, man. Let us know what you think on Twitter, at Pro Breaking Tour. What was your favorite moment of the night? Who was your favorite b-boy of the night? Uh, let us know what you think. What was the upset of the night? Who won? Who's your winner for tonight? We're gonna We're gonna go to a quick break and we're gonna bring you the finals. You want to stay tuned. You want to stay tuned to this. You don't want to miss this Chirito one. versus Kareem. United States versus Russia. Stay tuned. We're gonna go take a quick break. We're going to do a quick re uh, recap of Renegade, uh, Renegade Rockers' anniversary, so please, guys, enjoy and stay tuned. Now, what I want to know is how many more ready to party out there. Red man in the building. Time to wild a gal.
That's it, baby. All right, man, now we're getting set up, Marlon. We have our final battle, Chorito versus Kareem. Now, when this jam started today, did you think that these two would be in the final? It was a possibility, we know that. Yeah. Especially with this top 16, it's always a possibility that anybody can go to the finals. And that's the great thing about these events is that anybody has a shot, anybody has a puncher's chance. Check it out. We're at the 19th anniversary of Lions of Zion, presented by the Pro Breaking Tour, sanctioned by UDEF, powered by Monster. Guys, welcome to the final battle. Thank you for sticking with us tonight. We are your commentators for tonight. Marley from Havoc Core Road Crew. And Napalm from Lions of Zion Beat Wax Crew. We got our final battle. Kareem versus Chirito. U.S. versus Russia. We're going to keep it old school right now. U.S. versus Russia. This That's is a very cool. romantic final battle, right? Yo, like, it sure is, brother. It sure is. Now, Marlon, let me get your opinion on something. So, you know, you keep saying uh, when the... When these guys are battling that it could be anybody's day and you know that's a beautiful thing that really helps me out when it comes to battling i look at somebody and i'm like yo anybody can lose on any given day do you think oh, that yeah. way when you battle brother oh yeah i mean i've lost because i just didn't hit what i was supposed to hit you know and and whether it's energy whether it's lights whether it's music whether it's the crowd i mean there's so much that goes into this that that goes into your performance and you get that wrong song that you cannot dance to it messes with you, it messes with you. The judges want to see a complete b-boy. The judges, judges want to see someone that, that is in control. The judges want to see someone that's given 120%, and you're gonna see these two guys go at it. All right, the Over. beat just dropped, Marlon, so it's about to go down yet again. I hate to cut you off, but we got three rounds going off this time. Over, 90, starting it. over 90 competitors leading to this moment. Chirito from Russia, Siberia, representing. Here we go. Chirito, round one. Here it we looks go. Looks like Chirito was giving props to the event, which is kind of dope. That is super dope. He goes, Kareem, I was with this style. Kareem always wants to point out his competitor's flaws. Here we go. Chirito. He does not look like he's flawed at all. Not at all, man. He's Looking starting off heavy. He's bringing it right now. But he came to win. Why would you come from Russia and Siberia, I apologize, and lose? That's, so he's going to bring it right now, Marlon. That's a long flight home to think about what you could have done. Here we go, Chirito, round one. Original freezes. Here we go, playing with the music. Kareem answering. This is how you enter. This is how you enter. You always have to, you have to attack. That's right. It's Look very important. Eyes. It's very important. B-boying is one of those things that... You give your energy and your personality, and, and right now, Kareem is trying to show everybody that he is the better B-boy. Here we go. Very clean, very strong. Kareem is killing his power. Now, there is a possibility. I think we may have seen a couple of those power moves earlier out of Kareem, so that, that might be a, a tough round to judge for those judges. Chirito showing, showing him, like, yo, calm down, feel the music. Here we go. Chirito pouring his heart out. Round two, Chirito also has power, and he wants to show the judges that. He wants to show the judges that he has dynamics, he has power moves, but he prefers to do his style. And a lot of these b-boys, their style is their power. Now, there was a couple slip-ups this round out of Chirito, so if Kareem is analyzing that, he could definitely take advantage this round and stay clean. There we go. Kareem to answer. You think maybe something on his head is going to come this round. <laughs> There's $3,000 on the line. $3,000. A portable Mac EPA system. Here we go. Oh, reversal. Marlin. Wow. Challenging to do head spins one way, then slip it and go the other way. That is how dynamic these B-boys are these days. I mean, you know, a lot of these guys are, are called athletes and simply because they are able to do so much. Here we go. To go from head spin to footwork and still keep going, how tired must you be? And you have to pull it all together. You still can't mess up. Here we go. 
It comes down to this. Kareem always clowning, always clowning. I told you he plays with intimidation. He plays with it, Marlon. Chirito not phased. Chirito not phased. Always with, always with a smile. Here we go. Chirito's got moves for days. He's probably got 50 left for this final round. I bet you he's got a couple in case he gets a tie. These guys, nice. these guys are always training. These guys are always training. Chirito is definitely one of those guys that is always prepared. He has a lot of moves. Marlon, you and I got some of the best seats in the house, and uh, we're blessed for it, man, getting to watch these guys just rock it all oh, yeah. night. Here we go. Kareem giving him his hat back. Last round. It comes down to this. $3,000. $1,500. We didn't even talk about this. The loser of this battle, second place. Right. Call him the second place champ. is going to take home $1,500. But I want $3,000. Kareem yeah. wants $3,000. Kareem does not want $1,500. Who goes to the final battle to no, lose? They're no, both here to win. Here we go. Kareem. Aye, nice. Kareem always executing. Always executing. Here we go. Round three comes down to this. Does Kareem have enough to pull it off? His energy level is definitely low. All right. All let's right, see what the judges out, think, Marlon. Yeah. Here we go. Chirito looks very confident. He looks super smooth. Here we go, here we go. Before we announce our winner, $3,000 on the line, $3,000 on the line and Mackie Free Play Portable PA System. This is, this is a speaker that's perfect for any B-Boy. You can stream your music from any smartphone, tablet, any Bluetooth enabled device. It got an optional lithium battery, pack giving you 10 hours of continuous music performance. That's plenty for any B-Boy practice and you don't even need a plug. Great for street shows, it takes eight standard D-cell batteries Worldwide. the b-boy that wins tonight gets Europe, one of these Asia, i want one of these i don't know North how America, i'm gonna South get America. one of these but i am gonna make it happen here we go marlon it's time it's time brother my man nemesis is gonna point out the winner for the judges here we go the judges big ups to the judges big ups to lego <laughs> cerrito's Wicked. face i love this go. guy always in character here we go yeah, no, not all drivers, always in character Metro. marlon samuel got ubers I don't even want to guess who I UDEF thought won. I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole big day. Big ups to everybody who represented, who came job. out here to Yo, celebrate Lions of Zion. I mean, just everyone, the host, the DJs. I mean, everybody. I'm basically repeating what the host is saying, but that's because I felt so much love all night, and this is what it's about. Almost time, Marlon. The lights are dimmed. Whose hand will be raised? 19 years strong, represent the DMV. I gotta be honest, Torito looks uh, pretty confident. So, ladies and gentlemen. Kareem looks like he just wants one of those hands to be raised. The Zion 19 anniversary, brought to you by Silver Backup Pen. You deaf. $3,000. for second place. Judges, one. Everybody, everybody, come on. And Mackie one, Free Play Portable two, PA System. Here we go. Three. Torito is the champ, Marlon. Oh, look Second at that emotion. Place to Kareem. I want to show that emotion from Chirito, how much this means to him. It's about a moment, guys. It's about a moment, and that is what hip hop is. Chirito came all the way from Russia to battle against someone that he probably has admired for a very long time. This is a very big moment, man. This is what this is about. That's why I love hip hop. That's why I love B-Boy. And it's because these moments are so precious. Everybody is just is just showing them so much love. This is what it's about. Chirito's having his moment, $3,000. He gets a Mackie free play portable PA system. Gets respect from the B-Boy community. He got to have his moment. He got to battle all these people. Over 90 competitors to get to this moment right here. One champ. Big ups. One champ. Big ups to Lions of Zion. Big ups to the Pro Breaking Tour sanctioned by UDev. Big ups to Monster. Big ups to Mackie. Big ups to everybody that came. Chirito enjoying it. Look at that smile, son. Yeah, Chirito. You deserve it, brother. That's that Russian smile. Check out that speaker, though. He's now, for anybody that's staying with us on the live stream, yo, if y'all had work today and you could not make it to the jam the after party is right here come out and party with us me and marlon are going to be out there in just a few moments enjoying life now that the commentating is about done
I know Chirito is feeling a thousand pounds lighter. I know Chirito's feeling so good. Big ups to Kareem. Big ups to everyone that came out and supported this. I mean, just this was such a great moment for everybody. Uh, us as your commentators tonight. My name is Marley from Havoc Coral Crew. Yo, this is Napalm from Lions of Zion, and I was just told that the live stream is gonna replay already tomorrow night. So let your friends know in case they missed it. Marlon, thank you so much, my friend. Come check it out. Lions of Zion, 19 years representing Pro Breaking Tour, Silverback yo, 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 B-Boy yo, events, Mackie, Uber, Monster. Uber, Monster. Uber thank you for Brown, making all this happen. Yo, I, I, Guys, is this is this another you, event? You know, LOZ, another Brown, event under the hat, but yo, like this is this is these are moments, these are things that that we live for, and uh, I've been breaking for like almost 20 years now, and I'm I'm just. Every time these events end, like, I feel so good about it. I feel so good about hip-hop. It re-energizes me. It hypes me up to keep dancing, to just to just love it, to just love it. And a reminder to everybody, only a couple more weeks until the Silverback Open Championships, which is October 10th and 11th, and King of Prussia right outside of Philadelphia. Marlon, you're going to make Philadelphia, it Philadelphia, yo, I'm going to be there. I am going to be doing the commentary. Oh I'm going to be on the live stream. That is just going to be bombarded bombarded with talent, bombarded with just competition. You do not want to miss it. You do not want to miss it in Philadelphia Silverback Open Championships, October 10th and 11th. And Marlon, let me just say this, man. I, I am one of the preliminary judges for the event, but I would have no issue if they switched me out and made me commentate with you. <laughs> this has been a pleasure, brother. This is definitely fun. I love this. I love this. I, I'm so excited. Uh, big ups to you, Dev, for giving me this opportunity. But check it out. Uh, at the Silverback Open, it's going to be over $10,000 given away that night. I mean, how amazing. It yeah, let's wait. Let's add seventy to that. No, let's let's add eighty, 80 to that. No, it's, it's over ninety thousand. How much again? Let, let, let's make sure we we understand this. Nine zero 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 dot zero zero over ninety thousand dollars. That uh, sounds almost like Dragon Ball Z. A, over a, nine thousand. That's like a, a billion top ramen. You know what I'm saying? Let's think like, about ramen. Now you got me hungry, <laughs> my brother. Now I am Yo, hungry. I want to I want to thank everybody. Lions of Zion, nineteenth anniversary. Pro Breaking Tour, UDEF, Monster, Big Ups to Mackie, Big Ups to Chirito, Big Ups to Kareem, Second Place, Big Ups to everybody that came out, joined us tonight. I cannot, I, I'm just super hyped. I didn't even win and I'm super hyped. Guys, we're going to continue partying. We're going to continue just celebrating Lions of Zion. Big Peace, Marley from Have a Corbro Crew. And Napalm from Lions of Zion. Thank you guys for tuning in. Next peace year for all. the 20 year, baby. You peace, better be peace. back. Oh, she wanna do what you trying to do.